Hey everyone! Welcome to Tracy Tries Stuff. I'm Tracy and in today's video we're actually going to do another Dollar Tree haul. And if you saw my thumbnail, you'll know that this is a jackpot wishlist Dollar Tree haul. So the first item that I got, and I went to like six different <laughs> Dollar Trees until I finally found it and was shocked that I found it, is this. And it was only $1.25. I've heard some talk of the Dollar Tree Plus is charging 3 or $5 for it, but um, it was only $1.25. I don't... I went to so many... <laughs> Dollar Trees, and we do actually have more plus Dollar Tree Pluses in my town now, which was news to me. I went to like six, and they, um, there were some that I haven't been to in a very long time, and apparently they're Dollar Tree Pluses now. And some of them that were just, had the Dollar Tree Plus freezer section is now has like the Dollar Tree Plus aisle plus the freezer section, so... I don't remember if I found this at a Dollar Tree, these, if I found these at a Dollar Tree Plus or not. I don't think so. And if, if it was a Dollar Tree Plus, it was the freezer section, I'm pretty sure. So I don't know if the, if this would change if you found it at a Dollar Tree Plus versus a regular Dollar Tree. But I only found it at one Dollar Tree out of all of the Dollar Trees I went to. So let's see if show you. They're all sharpened here. And there is 36. I haven't looked it up myself, but I've heard that these are uh, that you, buy, you can buy these from Michaels for like 15 to $17. So, I mean, I bought like five. Do I need five? Probably not, but I bought five. There were still like 10 left. I didn't like take the whole you know, inventory, because I think that's rude when people go in and just buy up the whole inventory because they most likely want to resell it, you know, get your bag, but maybe leave some for people that actually want it too. Like, you do not need to buy 40 of the same thing just so that no one else can have it. <laughs> so that, I got that, obviously. And that was a wish list item that I genuinely didn't think I would find because, as I mentioned in my previous Dollar Tree video, we did not get the Halloween welcome mats at all at any of my Dollar Trees. And I've seen videos where people have gotten um, actual lamps from the Dollar Tree. Nope, those have never been in my Dollar Tree. Um, and there are like food items that I've never seen at my Dollar Tree. Multiple food items, like real nice food items that I look for, but they're not at my Dollar Tree. So I wasn't expecting those to find those, and I did, and I was very happy. And I got one for me and one for Evan, and then there's three extra that'll probably go in storage. Um, and then. I didn't get a lot of food, but I did get <laughs> I did get um, gummy bears. These are I saw a video where somebody had hauled these um, her, from Nani's life. Um, she does Dollar Tree hauls, and I she had hauled these and she taste tested them, and she said they were better than Haribo. And I don't eat a whole lot of gummies, but I do like them, so I was just curious, so I got them. Um. I got another one of these, because I figured the two that I got, I'm going to take one to work and keep one here, so I got one for Evan. And I got a couple of scrunchies. I don't typically buy, um, like, scrunchies and stuff from Dollar Tree, because it's still a dollar twenty-five, which is a good price, but not necessary. These have the, like, I don't know how to even... They have, like, the cord-type, um, instead of just, like, a band, they have, like, it feels like a telephone cord, if you know what I mean, like, the old telephone cords that were, like, curly. Um, so this is supposed to be, uh, 
crease. It's not, it's supposed to keep your hair from creasing when you have it up in a ponytail. So I got a green one and a pink one. I'm not sure that, I don't think they're coming in the same color here. So, so those, and I think the only thing left in this bag are the colored pencils and the look. I also got headbands. We used to have these when I was younger. I don't think I've seen these in a while, but I was looking for headband bands and I couldn't find any in my apartment. And rather than dig through everything that I own to try to find a headband, I <laughs> bought new ones. And they had the little uh, picks or whatever they're called. Um, and like I said, we, I used to wear these when I was like a teenager, maybe. Um, so I thought that they were kind of cool. And there's three in here. So I could justify paying a dollar twenty-five for three versus paying a dollar twenty-five for one. Because <laughs> I am thrifty like that. Um, I did find the Glade... Uh, car air fresheners. They did have four packs. I bought a three pack because I they have the little scent here, scratch and sniff here, and I just like the scent better. The four packs were in the leather and clean linen scents. Those were the two that had four packs, and I thought the clean linen scent was a little too strong, and I'm not, I just didn't really like the leather scent that much. Um, so this one is the Vanilla Passion Fruit Hawaiian Breeze Combo, and they did also have a three-pack of the Hawaiian Breeze, um, but I like the combo, so I got that, and there's three of them, so that should last me a while, hopefully. And I saw quite a few people hauling this, too. It is, what is it? Carbon, uh, Carbona oven cleaner. So I don't have an oven, um, but I heard people saying that it was just a really good cleaner, like for baseboards and things like that. So I thought I could just use it around my apartment as a cleaner instead of using it as an oven cleaner. So that's my plan with that. And in that bag. Let me see. Um. Another thing I've seen people haul is this eyelash case with mirror, and I don't actually have a lot of false eyelashes. I probably have maybe three pairs, because I don't know how to wear them. I've never worn them, but I got some from the Dollar Tree. I don't have any like fancy pairs or anything like that. I got some from the Dollar Tree. I think I got like the Virgo pair, because they did like you know, like your signs or whatever, so I'm pretty sure I got the Virgo pair and maybe one or two other pairs. I'm trying to take it out to show you. <laughs> it's not super easy to open. Okay, so this is what it looks like right here. It's purple. It's got lashes on it. It has a sticker that actually shows you what it looks like on the inside. And then has rows for your eyelashes and a mirror right there. So I got that because I figure I have at least a couple of eyelashes, so might as well. Um, I don't drink coffee, but, and I don't, I have a coffee maker somewhere in storage. I don't have a coffee maker in here. We do have a coffee maker at work. I It is a like a Keurig, so I would need to get like the K-Cup adapters or whatever. I, I'd have one of those somewhere too, but that's probably in storage. So it would just, it'd be easier just to buy a new K-Cup adapter. But I do drink coffee sometimes at work just for energy. So they had this. It's Sanko Caribe, I think, imported coffee, and I got the hazelnut. They had hazelnut, breakfast blend, and French vanilla. And if you uh, if you watch my 
Dr. Pepper video, which I'm not sure if that one's out yet or not. I do mention in it that I don't like the flavor of vanilla, so I obviously didn't get the French vanilla. And I'm not a huge coffee drinker, so I didn't get the breakfast blend because that's just regular coffee. I just thought maybe this one, hazelnut, might be an interesting one to try. And then I got a couple of books. So this book, I only found one. It just was like sitting up by the register. I don't even know if it was supposed to be there, <laughs> but it was sitting there and I don't know why it caught my eye because it's not like super colorful, but um, it has it has recipes and like dating stories. And I just thought that might be interesting because depending on the type of dating stories, I'm assuming some of them are like, you know, fun and, and whatnot. And then some of them are like horror dating stories. <laughs> and then of course recipes. So I, I thought it was an interesting book. So I got it. And then I also got this, which says hands-on art projects. This is uh, like a children's art project thing, but you know. So it has, let's see, like just different art projects that can be done. So this one, seeing light, project painting light. So it's got, you know, like step one, step two, gallery. See, this one's got a starry night. And then, like, how to kind of do your own version of it, so to speak. Um, it's got different uh, styles of art. So that one there. I don't know if it has the screen or not. This is not the screen, obviously. That one there. So I just thought it was an interesting book. And then it has a glossary, so I guess it did have Van Gogh. I just didn't, I must have missed that page. So it has a glossary. So I don't see that it has a price tag. Sometimes you can see the original price on them, but this does not seem to have a price tag. But I just thought that was cool. And then the final thing that I got, and it was the only one in the whole store, and I did get it at a, at a Dollar Tree Plus, so I actually thought that this was going to be more than a dollar twenty-five, and I just thought that somebody had put it back in the wrong section. It was in with like the coloring books, but it was by itself, and so I thought somebody had put it back in the wrong section. But it was a dollar twenty-five. Like, this is cool. It's got stickers, postcards, coloring pages, paint by numbers. And I looked this up on the website, on this website, Brandon, Brandon Birds, for, for this. This book is $25. <laughs> and I got it for $1.25. Um, and it has just really random pictures so you, I don't know if you could tell that's clearly Jeff Goldblum as an angel <laughs> like that's definitely Jeff Goldblum and then here we have uh, Christopher Walken it's like a, it looks like it's supposed to be a Christopher Walken mask and then um, that one's like a color by number what I would imagine is like Jurassic Park because that looks like a dinosaur. Um, here's, I need to make sure some of these are appropriate and I don't think that one is. So <laughs> here's, here is, a, oh, I'm trying to, he's kind of small, Mr. T on this page right here. I'm trying to show you some of them. Vin Diesel. And, um, Captain Picard, 
blanking on his name. And I don't really know why they both have wolves next to him, but there you go. They're really good pictures, because, like, you can tell who they are. Uh, Nicholas Cage as a dragon, I think? So, they're super random, but they're cool. And, um, like, like this one. You got, uh, Care Bear. Uh, I don't know who's on his chest. Um, and then Bob. Uh, Bob Ross. Sorry. Blinked on his name for a second. So, what is this? Is this Frasier? It's totally random, but this one is, like, fantastic. Is it Fantastic Four? But it has, uh, Kelsey Kramer, I think his name is, Frasier, in it. So, yeah, there's just, and then, what is this? Oh, I think this might be the picture that was the paint-by-number picture. But this is what it actually looks like. And then, so these are the postcards, I think, or just colored pictures, I'm not really sure. So, there's, ooh, coach, that's been forever since I've seen that, and then Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh, and here are some... Uh, I think they're paint by number, but I, I would probably use colored pencils because those are real small. And let's, let's see. Law and Order, <laughs> SVU, doesn't have Olivia, but it does have uh, Wong, Wong, uh, Tutuola, um, I'm pretty sure that's Stabler, and I'm blanking a name, I think it's Tara, I think. It's the Emmy. I, she's been, she hasn't been on in several seasons, I cannot remember. Uh, okay, and that's got some weird, like... What I think is Gary Busey, and it's like put together body parts of him. Weird. And there's several pages of that with like hands and legs and things like that that are weird. Um, oh, I think this is Law and Order. Nope, here we go. Oh, there we go. Law and Order. I'm pretty sure this page is. From the original Law and Order. So it's. Nope. Maybe. Sam Watterson, I think his name is. He's Law and Order. Oh, here are the. Okay, here's the last coloring page that was on the cover. And then here are some of the. Nope. Upside down. <laughs> Here are some of the postcards. I, I don't know why Eric Roberts is writing a horse, but he is. And then stickers! So, that is what that book looks like. And it's cool, but I just I don't know if I want to color in it because then I'm like worried I'll ruin it. <laughs> and he only had one. If they had two, I would have bought two because then I would have colored in one and would have kept one completely uncolored, basically. But so that was a really cool book. That was a really neat find. Unfortunately, they're not in every Dollar Tree because especially when it comes to books, they're random. But I still thought it was really cool, so I wanted to share it. Um, so that was my newest Dollar Tree haul. Um, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. Uh, 
If you want to see more, go ahead, subscribe, and hit the alert button. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!